started painting uh, about 20 years ago when I was a consultant and had an office that uh, I wanted to add some color to and I bought some canvas and some paint and kind of played around with it and uh, really enjoyed painting and so I started painting uh, as more of a way to relax and enjoy myself and uh, express myself without without being judged or viewed and uh, I really fell in love with painting a few years ago and have been painting since. I think I, uh, after uh, my consulting career I was kind of disappointed with the way things were going and then I uh, started uh, doing um, interior design and uh, working with my partner and we had a really good business and we really enjoy doing that. We'll continue to do that but during that time I had an opportunity to paint more and I really enjoyed it and uh, I just kind of felt that uh, the more I practiced and the more I tried different things and the more I discovered how I felt that I needed to paint, the better I felt in my paintings and I could put uh, more on more feeling and emotion on the canvas. And uh, since then, I've kind of felt like uh, I feel like a better painter than I was when I first started. I really don't ha have a process. I start off very simple with marks and um, just simple marks on, the, on a canvas to get started, whether it be a line or paint or using chalk. But it's uh, not really a process. It's more of, uh, I think, of a space or a place that I was at and I kind of start with colors but it's not really um, the colors that I begin with um, are always blended when I'm working on the canvas and very reactionary at what I do if I see a color that I really like or some type of movement or structure that's taking place I kind of run with it for a while and then add to and take away from until I feel like the painting is completed I think a lot of artists say that their inspiration is nature, and I, yeah, I probably say the same, but it's more of uh, what draws me to a specific place, or also the colors that I see. I think as things, as nature, as things are blooming and things are dying, there's so many different colors in the vegetation that you see. And I also try to look at the motion of uh, maybe a tree or some type of vegetation and the way it lays or the way it, uh, a branch of a tree may have this unusual angle and I try to interpret some of that into my paintings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I hear that uh, every once in a while if I have a show or people are in the studio or the gallery looking at works. Uh, sometimes I'll hear people say, oh, my son could do that or my kids could do that. And uh, for me, I think that's a compliment and the fact that if you can do that as an artist, to have that freedom and not feel like you're being judged, I think is great. Um, you know, if their kids can do it, I hope they do uh, because uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs>